especially the sciences, mm -hmm. that is mathematics, chemistry, physics, English, mm -hmm. Kiswahili, kwa sababu we are called to be good communicators. Yes. And then after that, you go into university. Mm -hmm. So I will give an example of the Kenyan uh, system where we study pharmacy for five years. You study undergraduate for five years, you go and do an internship year before now you can be regulated and registered by the Pharmacy and Poisons Board so that you can go ahead and now practice. Wow. So it takes so a long time. Six years. <laughs> we are talking of six years. Yes. We are talking of <laughs> six years. <laughs> and that now is a person who is called a qualified pharmacist. Because we don't take health lightly. Mm -hmm. We are actually impacting on the health of a human being. Mm -hmm. And so it is not something to be taken lightly. Mm -hmm. Because any, um, you know, any kind of um, uh, intervention you make mm -hmm. has the capacity to either impact positively mm -hmm. or negatively, uh, negatively on the human life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Na sasa kwa sababu nyinyi ni miongoni mwa wale ambao mnahakikisha kwamba madawa lazima yatengenezwe na dawa hili linaweza dhibiti ugonjwa huu na hili dawa likitumiwa katika ki, hiki kipimo linaweza you know saidia exactly. katika kupoesha ugonjwa fulani exactly. ni vitu vigani ambavyo mnazingatia when you guys are dealing with the manufacturing of these drugs even before we start talking about the medication and and how they are being ministered first of all we have to make sure that where we are manufacturing mm -hmm. what kind of facilities are we manufacturing in mm -hmm. And are these facilities approved to manufacture even um, by the guidelines that we are given and that we adhere to by the WHO, which are called uh, Good Manufacturing uh, Practices, GMP. So we must make sure that the facilities that we are uh, uh, manufacturing in are actually, you know, good facilities mm -hmm. and that them, uh, the facilities themselves are not going to impact negatively mm -hmm. on the drug itself. Mm -hmm. And then the staff... You look at also the staff. Do we have qualified mm -hmm. staff to actually work there? And, you know, when you talk about a company, you're not talking about only the pharmacist, but you're looking at all other aspects of the, uh, you know, of uh, human resource, mm -hmm. all the way from administration to mm -hmm. procurement to mm -hmm. warehousing. So in the manufacturing setup, it's mm -hmm. uh, very uh, multidimensional. Mm -hmm. And there are many departments that at the end of the day are going to have to work together mm -hmm. to ensure that you get your drug and to ensure that you get a drug that is of mm -hmm. good quality, mm -hmm. that is safe, and that is efficacious. So efficacy, mm -hmm. ndoyo uh, ikumanisha kwamba dawa inafanya ile kazi inafaa kufanya, mm -hmm. na kwamba inatibu ile ugonjwa inafaa kutibu. Mm -hmm. Yes. Alright, na kuna wale ambao, oh, kuna swali ambalo limeulizo hapa, uh, kwamba uliza mgeni wetu, kwa nini tukienda katika hospitali, uh -huh. haswa hospitali za uma? Tunambiwa kwamba hili na hili na hili dawa ama hii dawa hatuna. Nenda ukanunue kwa pharmacy ama nenda ukanunue kwa chemist. Anauliza kwamba kwani nakuwaje haya madawa ambayo yanapatikana kwa chemist hayauzwi mahali pamoja na yale ambayo yanauzwa hospitalini. Let's talk about this because wow. we've had these issues. <laughs> we've had, that, that, had that, these is, issues. that is very true. <laughs> yes. Now, whatever guides uh, the procurement process mm -hmm. in a public setup yes. is a certain uh, guideline and especially mm -hmm. a list that is called the Kenya Essential Medicines List. Yes. And therefore, in any public setup, we need mm -hmm. to make sure that whatever we have covered in the Kenya Essential Medicine List mm -hmm. is actually available in our public uh, setup. Okay. And so this is to mean that we're going to look at commodities or drugs that are, you know, uh, treating common, um, you know, common conditions. Okay. And then it also depends on the healthcare system because the public healthcare system mm -hmm. is very, um, you know, diverse where the level of care will also determine the kind of commodities that you're going to find there. So we start with the lowest level of care, which is a level two. Mm -hmm. And then we go up, you know, to level three, mm -hmm. to level four, mm -hmm. to level five, and up to level six. Mm -hmm. So the level of care will also determine mm -hmm. what kind of commodities and what kind of, uh, you know, uh, care that you're going to get in these facilities. Mm -hmm. So the higher the level, it means that the more um, you know, the more treatment options you're going to get there, the more specialities are also there, and therefore the more the drugs are going to be found uh -huh. there, okay. okay, as opposed to level a level two, two facility, which okay. is a, you know, the primary healthcare facility, yes. because, you know, they can't uh, offer 
all the spectrum mm -hmm. of health services in mm -hmm. that dimension. Mm -hmm. And so we tailor make also mm -hmm. the commodities to fit mm -hmm. this, you know, the kind of service that you're going to find mm -hmm. at any level of care. So you can go to a level two hospital or a level three hospital and not find a particular commodity, but then you're going to be referred to a higher level. Okay. And in that higher level, if you go to Kenyatta, for example, mm -hmm. you're going to find a wide a spectrum wide, uh -huh. of drugs mm -hmm. because of also the kind of services and specialized services mm -hmm. that they offer there. But we are guided by what is called a formulary, mm -hmm. number one, mm -hmm. and also the Kenya Essential Medicine list. Yes. And this is the list that um, you know tells us at any given time mm -hmm. what are the drugs that we are supposed to have nice. in that facility. And yes. again, to make one issue, the quacks, uh, operating yes. as pharmacists, I'm a chemist, and uh, wamekuwa ki dispense, uh, wanasema kwamba they have laboratories and they have all that. It has been an issue even with the government and the Ministry of Health uh, countrywide, and uh, I am yet to understand why uh, the government in a payana licenses to search when how to qualify, or maybe what really happens that unapata a quack and operate a pharmacy. You know, in the midst of any good seeds, we are yeah. told that there are weeds that grow. Kukiwa yeah. na pazuri, there are always weeds that magugu. are going, magugu, uh -huh. magugu wa inafuata uh -huh. ile mimea mizuri, uh -huh. uh -huh. And so, I said that pharmacy is a regulated profession. Yes. That means you need to be qualified, you uh -huh. need to have the necessary licensure, uh -huh. even to open a, a premise. And that is determined by the Pharmacy and Poisons Board. Mm -hmm. Lakini, because of uh, maybe the setup, and yes. you'll always find unscrupulous mm -hmm. characters, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that are going to find, you know, some loopholes within the system that mm -hmm. they can uh, actually manipulate. Mm -hmm. But this is something uh, I know that, uh, you know, the Pharmacy and Poisons Board is up in arms. Mm -hmm. And uh, really making sure that the crackdown on these quacks mm -hmm. uh, is, is, is being done mm -hmm. and that they're being identified. And we have seen certain cases even yes. in the news yes. uh, of, you know, how many, uh, you know, premises are being closed because yes. it's something that is continuous. And I know mm -hmm. that our regulators are on mm -hmm. top of their game mm -hmm. to ensure that we read our society of these people mm -hmm. because, again, they're dealing with life without... Um, you know, the qualifications that they need to. Mm -hmm. And so we need to make sure that we approach them. You know, in the public, if yes. you see that you're going to a place mm -hmm. and, uh, for example, it doesn't have what we call the Green Cross, um, you know, the Pharmacy and Poisons Board uh, yes, Green yes. Cross mm -hmm. label, mm -hmm. please pick up and uh, let us know what is going on. Call the authorities and mm -hmm. say, I think this person is not uh, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Okay. So it also comes from the ground mm -hmm. so that we again are, are, are being advocates and mm -hmm. we are being vigilant. Nice. Yes. And we've, we've had issues of uh, Kwenda over the counter. Yes. Najua the over, over the counter drugs. Yes. I love that to ambie ni madawa yapi ambayo mimi na rusi wa kwenda kununua pale kwa pharmacy pasipo kupata uh, uh, mwelekezi ama mwelekeo kutoka kwa daktari kwamba na hisi hivi hivi naweza enda kwa chemist nikapata yeah. dawa na hiyo hali nikaitatua maybe are there specific drugs that can be ordered over the counter or should we get a directly from the doctor so what governs um, the dispensing of medications mm -hmm. like uh, again we said medicines are you know in fact they they are called poisons for a reason exactly yes and um, but what governs that is the scheduling so we classify drugs according to various schedules mm -hmm. and the schedule of the drug is mm -hmm. going to uh, determine mm -hmm. who can dispense it and whether it requires an order from a prescriber who is a uh -huh. doctor. Mm -hmm. And so yes, uh, as a monainchi, you mm -hmm. can come into the pharmacy mm -hmm. and get what we call over-the-counter drugs, yes. which are usually schedule zero. Mm -hmm. And um, these are drugs such as painkillers, your normal mm -hmm. painkiller, your mm -hmm. panadols, mm -hmm. your um, you know your antacids, mm -hmm. your supplements. Mm -hmm. Again, whoever who is behind the counter dispensing knows mm -hmm what these drugs are, mm -hmm. knows how they're supposed to be used, yes. knows the dosage of these drugs, yes. and so they have that ability to be able to dispense mm -hmm. even without the prescription. prescription. Yes. But then when we come to um, higher schedules of drugs, mm -hmm. such as, for example, antibiotics should actually yes. be dispensed um, with a prescription or, you know, um, 
um, if you talk about maybe anti-cancer agents, for example, mm -hmm. these are higher level drugs mm -hmm. and they will require a prescription, mm -hmm. meaning that the person has gone through a prescriber who is a doctor yes. and the doctor has given that order. A prescription is actually an order, yes. yes, saying that I have seen this person and this and this and this is what I'm recommending for this person mm -hmm. to get. If you look at hypertension, for example, those are not drugs that we just give over the counter. Yes. If you look at diabetes, if you look at epilepsy, these mm -hmm. are drugs that must be accompanied by a prescription mm -hmm. because, again, the patient is being looked at you know health is multi it's a it's a multi approach system mm -hmm. so everybody has a role to play yes. from the doctors to the nurses to the pharmacists mm -hmm. in managing this patient mm -hmm. and ensuring that the patient has positive health outcomes mm -hmm. so yes there are drugs that you can get over the counter yes. these are simple scheduled drugs yes. that we know even when we give you over the counter That's we right. know what we are giving you we are giving you in the correct uh, dose we have mm -hmm. told you how to take them correctly yes, yes. and also for a limited schedule uh, time timeline mm -hmm. you'll see that the medication you are going to get over the counter is usually for a limited mm -hmm. uh, timeline and then we are we urge that if you know the symptoms continue mm -hmm. then that means that now you need further care and mm -hmm. you need further intervention so it is not mm -hmm. Uh, malpractice yes. because as pharmacists we are also the first point of care mm -hmm. uh, entry uh, entry into the healthcare system mm -hmm. you won't start going to see a doctor okay. the first thing is to come to the pharmacy because mm -hmm. you know that you can get some help mm -hmm. but now should that headache persist should that headache continue mm -hmm. and that is where we come in and we say should this headache persist mm -hmm. after a certain period then you can now go ahead and seek for uh, further um, services. Nice. So, mm -hmm. Dr. Nicole, uh, you being the deputy county pharmacist, yes. Uh, let me ask, uh, wakati ambapo uko pale kwa pharmacy, ama wakati ambapo you are dispensing those drugs, yes. do you get orders from the hospital or can any other person just walk to your, the pharmacy and get the drugs? You know, in a health setup, mm -hmm. like for example, you know, in a hospital yes. pharmacy, mm -hmm. a hospital pharmacy is one of the departments yes, and usually hospital. of the hospital. So yes. usually when a patient comes to a hospital, they start at, uh, you know, the reception where mm. they are received or they get their, uh, where mm -hmm. they get their card. Mm -hmm. And then from there, they go now and see a doctor. Mm -hmm. And that doctor is part and parcel of that setup, that mm -hmm. facility. Mm -hmm. So the order that comes or the prescription that comes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. must come from the doctor who is within that facility if I so, mm -hmm. if I come with a prescription from a doctor injure that facility can I be assisted kwa mfano you guys are in Kiambu mimi nitoke labda nimetibiwa in a different hospital but I was not able to get the drugs then I just walk into that health facility uh, directly to the pharmacy I have a prescription uh, absolutely. yes absolutely you should be pres you should be treated. I, I will be tr I will you be helped you should be helped because okay. as again, long as I have a prescription, have a prescription ah, okay. and you have but what determines that is mm. the validity okay. of the prescription okay. and for a prescription to be valid there are mm -hmm. certain criteria mm -hmm. that it must meet mm -hmm. number 1 does it have your name and okay. are you the person okay. who is actually coming for that okay does it have your age does it have a date mm -hmm. because we need to see the date mm -hmm. and then we need to to see what and you know a legible um, you know uh, order mm -hmm. and then but most importantly mm -hmm. has you know has the doctor signed the prescriber okay. yes can okay. we trace back the prescriber yes yes mm -hmm. so if you should be done, assisted I and as long assisted. as it is a valid prescription mm -hmm. that has all of those uh, dimensions mm -hmm. that actually qualify a prescription as mm -hmm. a valid prescription mm -hmm. you should be assisted you know this yes, is very wheth important whether you are any man ni muhimu sana kwa sababu uh, unapata kwamba watu wameenda katika hospitali fulani wametibiwa wameambiwa hawana zile he, uh, pesa waende watafute dawa wameenda kwa pharmacy wamekosa na maybe in the nearest hospital those drugs are there that's why I ask that question. Iwapo na itaji sana hii dawa na imekuwa prescribed by a doctor. It has all those things. Uh, uh, can I just walk into a hospital, expl explain myself, alafu ni pewe zile dawa. It's very important uh, that what we do even. Alafu on a lighter note, yes. what is with your handwriting? <laughs> what is with your handwriting? Alfata <laughs> message. <laughs> You write the same. Oh, <laughs> it's 
also mother got that you are trained, trained I don't I, like I, I, I don't know at what juncture the handwriting just becomes as you know so something you else no 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 I think mine is is very little <laughs> what I wish you had a body <laughs> <laughs> but it's 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 actually a, a very important um you know subject because mm-hmm. If something is not legible and you cannot read it, yes. you you know the chances of making mistakes are also high. True. So it's something that we are also advocating for mm-hmm. that um, you know if it has to be because <laughs> now we are embracing technology and yes. now you're going to see that most prescriptions are actually typed out mm-hmm. and that really helps in mitigating what we call medication errors mm-hmm. because some medication errors mm-hmm. can arise because of that an ineligible handwriting mm-hmm. and so at least now what one type and you know you can see clearly yes. but we really just try and and advocate mm-hmm. uh you know try and make uh, the, the writing as legible as possible but then again we're the custodians <laughs> of medicines uh-huh. and so because i know uh, you know paracetamol in andikwa a certain way it's easy for me to tell okay the, and we have the you know we we have the knowledge we mm-hmm. have we have that knowledge we have the experience these are commodities so that you handle so when you guys are in school you through. never corrected on how to write well no. <laughs> <laughs> that one i don't know at what juncture it comes uh, across i don't know how I that happens it, I, but I, I it, it, it <laughs> is a coded language i thought so well we do have some 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 codes and that's why i say the eh? <laughs> abbreviations are you used because of our knowledge because of our training because of our experience yes. we'd be able to interpret actually the, the part that prescription requires what we call an interpretation yes you know dispensing is a whole process uh-huh. that starts with the receiving of that prescription uh-huh. and then interpreting it uh-huh. so the knowledge and the training we get uh-huh. helps us so that we can know how to interpret that prescription ukiona <laughs> od we how to do od na manisha nini but me no od ni kambiwa na manisha daily exactly <laughs> once a day yes, so T-T-B-C we are taught or street times exactly t i d yes t t i d t i d three times a three day three times daily you see? and so these abbreviations are actually the the uh-huh. the genesis of these abbreviations uh-huh. is the latin language <laughs> and so we are taught yes yes we are taught nice yes. so uh, i have a very uh, serious uh, question here and naona hili swali ndio ambalo linatusongesha kutamatisha kipindi chetu anaitwa lin Yes. Anasema sele, mimi tangu mtoto wangu awe wani ya kila wakati anapofungana nikienda hospitali there is a specific medication ambayo napewa there is a specific uh, antibiotic ambayo napewa it has been going on and on and on for three or four five times napewa the same sasa nimefika mahali nikaona because i know the kind of antibiotic i'll be given when i go to the hospital is it in order for me to just walk to the pharmacy and mm. order for the same because <laughs> amekuwa kipewa the same <laughs> Kama ni amoxil yeah. amekuwa ame, akipewa amoxil akigonjeka anapewa amoxil so yeah. will it be in order for lean mm-hmm. to just walk into the nearest pharmacy mm-hmm. order for amoxil na ape mtoto now what um <laughs> we are really trying to fight right now mm-hmm. and to discourage is self medication self medication yeah. and in lynn's case it would make <laughs> sense why she would just say come on this 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 dawa i'm always getting all through True. i can just go and buy it but and again that is, is what most of us do, do yes including me yes uh, but it's 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 not good practice <laughs> yes. especially where antibiotics are concerned mm-hmm. because antibiotics um you know you have um, many types of antibiotics out mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. and um you know they are meant to treat various kinds of uh, b- bacteria or mm-hmm. uh, um antimicrobials yes. and so there's this thing that has now come up because of that bad practice which mm-hmm. is called antimicrobial resistance mm-hmm. antimicrobial resistance meaning mm-hmm. that because of using a certain drug badly a certain mm-hmm. antibiotic mm-hmm. badly mm-hmm. Uh, whether it's through um, you know self medication mm-hmm. or whether it's through poor dispensing or prescribing practices mm-hmm. yes. then these bacteria these bugs mm-hmm. have a mechanism of developing some resistance mm-hmm. to that drug mm-hmm you know so now ukikunywa hiyo dawa it does not have any effect and that means that now whatever was meant to treat that kind of uh, an infection yes. and could have treated it better yes. is now not working and you have to go to the next 
level or the next class of drugs to treat it. Mm -hmm. And usually this next level is more expensive <coughs> drugs yes. and they're also more potent. So they come also with more side effects to mm -hmm. them. And so there's something that is called antimicrobial stewardship yes. that is meant to address all of these concerns that, you know, how can we go about stopping this resistance? How do we fight it? And how do we improve our dispensing? How do we improve our prescribing? Mm -hmm. And also how do we, as patients now, yes. improve our drug taking mm -hmm. behavior? So for Lynn, I would really discourage the, you know, the practice of just going and saying, because my baby has been taking amoxil, mm -hmm. let me just go and uh, continue taking uh, this amoxil. Yes resistance is going to come up. Mm -hmm. And that means that that drug in the near future is not going to be effective anymore. Mm -hmm. So that will force Lynn to spend more money going to the doctors again, mm -hmm. getting a more expensive commodity, a yes. more expensive higher level uh, drug. Mm -hmm. And I said these ones are also more, more potent. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the best thing whenever it comes to, um, you know, um, bacterial infections, yes, please go get seen by the doctor, get that prescription, mm -hmm. come with that prescription mm -hmm. to the pharmacy mm -hmm. and we shall advise you better. But we really must stop mm -hmm. this self-medication. Mm -hmm. Ukipata homa, homa is a virus, <laughs> it is not bacteria. Yes. The first thing even <coughs> when you get a flu, mm -hmm. it is practice to just go and say, nataka amoxil nikona homa. But you see what is causing the flu is totally different from a bacterial because this is a virus and you're using yes. an antibacterial yes, yes, drug yes. to treat that, mm -hmm. which is not uh, proper. So for antibiotics, let us be very, very careful in how we use them. Let us get the prescription. Let us get the right diagnosis mm -hmm. because, again, we said that, you know, there are, uh, germs are many, yes. germs are different. Yes. And only through the right diagnosis mm -hmm. and the right prescription mm -hmm. Can we then get the right mm -hmm. medication to treat that particular uh, infection? Finally, because I have uh, less than a minute. Okay. <laughs> I have less than a minute. Uh, what happens? Wakati ambapo nimekata. Nasema nimekata kwa sabu ni mamuzi mtu anayoyafanya. Nimeenda hospitalini, nikapewa madawa, nilipo meza sikuiza kwanza tatu, nikapona. Alafu nikaacha, siku malizia madawa yangu. What really happens? Very, very, very wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anytime you get a prescription. Yes. And you get a drug. Mm -hmm. There is usually a duration, mm -hmm. yes, whether it is three days, yes. whether, it, whether it is five days, yes. whether it is 14 days. Mm -hmm. You must make sure that you adhere and you finish your medication. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. what happens, for example, yes. as you start taking, if it's an infection, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. that we are dealing with, uh, you're taking an antibiotic agent mm -hmm. that has been caused by bacteria. Yes. So it means that once you have taken that antibiotic agent, mm -hmm. whatever bacteria was in your system, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. that drug has already started working. Mm -hmm. And drugs work, uh, if it's an antibiotic, it can ca have two mechanisms yes. of action, either mm -hmm. by killing off the bacteria mm -hmm. or stopping their, mm -hmm. their growth. Mm -hmm. So if you take for three days, of course not the drug is already killing off that bacteria. Yes. And that means that the effects of the bacteria within you are already going down no, and you start yes. feel bet feeling better mm -hmm. because the drug is working mm -hmm. but then we are saying that you should take it for five to seven days yes. and this is to make sure that everything you know all that it's infection has hard. been cleared out mm -hmm. and it is out of your mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. so you must always adhere to that mm -hmm. so that again number one you stop reinfection yes eh, so that mm -hmm. now next week ten or yes. in a month again yes. because mm -hmm. you've not cleared it off completely mm -hmm. so the chances of reinfection are even higher mm -hmm. if you do not finish your dose number two mm -hmm. what you're talking about resistance mm -hmm. so that now if you don't finish your dose these bugs already know how they you know they develop develop a mechanism to yeah, be able to jikinga against that particular yes. dawa. Uh -huh. And so now, when you take that dawa again, it will not work. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we need to make sure if it is three days, if it is five days, if it is make 14 sure. days, mm -hmm. even if you start feeling better, just finish that dose mm -hmm. so that in future you also don't uh, get more problems. Hey, thank yes. you so much, my dear, for coming. <laughs> thank you so, thank much, you so for much for the me. information, for the knowledge. Thank and you so much. Kitu. Mungu wa kubariki sana na kutenda wema. Even as you're going back, say hi to your colleagues. Wambia sele amewasali. Of course, with my direction, uh, director. <laughs> 
Max pia amewasalimia. Lakini mtazamaji kipindi chetu kinaendelea ni saa mbili na dakika 30 na moja naomba tuweze kuvuka tuende madukani alafu tutarejea kutamatisha kipindi chetu. Siende mbali. Thank you.